What's up y'all? It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm and today I'm going to show you how I make our favorite pickle. Now let me put a disclaimer. This is a sweet pickle. I don't eat these very often but the kids love these. Uh, we have a company here in Arkansas that produces a fire and ice pickle and sells those and they're delicious. Our family was hooked on them and so I had to find a way to make them. Now this recipe I'm going to show you today is so ridiculously easy you're going to laugh but uh, it's good it's easy and it's quick and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it so let's get started first thing you're going to need to do is at least roughly weigh your cucumbers uh, I have a variety of different cucumbers I just use whatever we grow I don't necessarily use pickling cucumbers but you definitely can um, and you need some sort of idea of how many you have for this recipe you're gonna need 9 to 11 pounds next you need to get them washed up good get all the garden dust and everything you can off of them all right first thing you're gonna need is some clean and sterile jars so you need you're gonna need 7 quarts or 14 pints for this so go ahead and get those clean however you sterilize those go ahead and get those going next you're gonna need eight and three quarter cups of vinegar. Now I'm using a mixture of white vinegar and apple cider vinegar, but a very important thing here is you need to make sure, uh, you pretty much need to use store-bought here because you need to know that it has a 5% acidity uh, just for canning safety, um, but both of these are certified to be at least 5% acidity, so uh, eight and three quarter cups. Next ingredient, don't croak out on me, is seven cups of sugar. Like I said, these are a sweet pickle, and the sugar is what helps preserve them. All right, here's the secret ingredient to my zesty bread and butter pickles, fire and ice pickles, Mrs. Wages. This is literally a bunch of dehydrated spices and the salt, uh, celery seed, things like that. It is, these are pretty all natural. Uh, I use this and I also use Mrs. Wage's salsa mix. The rest of the things I pretty much make from scratch, but I could not make these any better than this mix does. This is the medium zesty bread and butter pickle, but around here we call them fire and ice. They're sweet, but they've got some heat to them too. So you're going to add this whole package into your vinegar sugar mix. And this is going to create the magic. All right, so this is super easy. You're just going to heat this up. You can see I'm using a glass pot. Uh, you need some sort of non-reactive pot, meaning do not use an aluminum pot with the vinegar mixture. Uh, that would be no good. So use glass, stainless steel, something along those lines. As you heat this up, this sugar is going to dissolve and in the meantime we're going to get our cucumbers ready this is how i'm going to do this it's super easy i'm going to take off uh, the ends of this this is just a cheapo slicer from walmart nothing fancy about it but it's going to make nice thin uniform slices you can cut these by hand in thicker chunks i wouldn't recommend keeping them whole they'll do a lot better if you slice them. All right, so we remembered we have this attachment for my KitchenAid mixer that slices and shreds and all those things. So we are gonna give this a try. I'll let you know, because this thing is pretty cheap on Amazon. If this works, it would be a great way to slice cucumbers. I've used this one to shred cabbage a lot for um, sauerkraut, so we'll see if this works. Okay, it didn't do too bad. Uh, this would be a great way to make like sandwich thins out of your pickles. Uh, it would be really awesome for relish. So let me try one and show y'all how it does. I'm gonna say that's kind of a success. What do you think, Emily? Yeah. I mean, it makes very thin pickle slices and it saves a lot of arm work 
Uh, it kind of mangles some of it up, but like I said, that's definitely an option for relish. Yeah, that'd make really good relish. Yeah. All right, we are working together. I'm actually taking these tiny little ones and I'm making them into a jar of spears. Uh, but I would recommend cutting them somehow so this can pickle them all the way through. It, it doesn't pickle as well if you leave them whole. We can switch plates. All right, so you can see this has come to a boil. I'm gonna turn it down on low. Uh, that's really all it needed to do was get hot enough that everything dissolves. Give it a good stir and just let that sit. You don't want it to um, reduce down. You're gonna need all the liquids you can get. So kind of turn it down. Don't leave it at a hard boil while you're finishing getting your cucumbers ready. Okay, so you're gonna need a hot water bath canner and you're just gonna fill that up and get it to starting heating. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on high get this to heating up. I didn't fill it all the way up because as you know, as you add full jars in there, the water's gonna rise anyway. We want it to wind up being over the jars, but I can add some more hot water in a minute. So I'm gonna start with that. And this is good and heated up. Our jars are packed full. Now, a little word to the wise. There's been times I didn't pack these as tight and then I didn't have enough liquid. So this is enough liquid if you pack these jars full. Uh, that way it takes less liquid per jar. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we are gonna put this uh, vinegar, sugar, spice mixture in here. It's gonna bubble a little bit. Uh, we need to leave half an inch of head space in each jar. So not gonna go up all the way to the top. And then uh, they make little tools that you can slide in, uh, down in there to get the bubbles out. I find if I just leave them for a few minutes, a lot of the bubbles come out. You can see them coming right now. So I'm just going to continue filling these. All right, so we're going to take a clean towel. We're going to wipe these rims off. We've got them full, but we have left the half inch headspace. We're going to put some clean new lids on them. Then we're going to take some rings and we're going to screw those on. Then we are going to lower them down into this water we have heating. And you can see now my water is over my jars. So that's the goal is to get them completely covered. We're gonna process these for 10 minutes. If these were pints, we would do five minutes. So get it to a rolling boil and then start your timer. All right, so these have canned for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and lift them out onto this towel. Look at that gloriousness. Very carefully. And you can see how I had those packed in there really tight. And you can see how much, uh, once they soften up, they kind of shrink. So you can pack them in there really, really tight. All right, so as you can see, when you pull them out of the hot water bath canner, the uh, dome on the lids is up. They've got, they've got pressure in them. So as they cool just a little bit, you'll start hearing them pop down and suck down on the jars and seal. So just leave them undisturbed like this. Don't be banging and moving them around. Let them just sit there and do their thing. These are gonna pickle over the next 24 hours. So I'm sure you noticed we packed raw cucumbers in the jar and then put the brine over them. So they're gonna take about 24 hours to pickle and then they'll be ready to eat. They're best if you chill them for a little while before you eat them. But after the 24 hours, you can just open them from your pantry and eat them and they are delicious. They'll stay crunchy for quite a while, uh, but I actually have some on my shelf that are several years old. Uh, the main thing that happens to them after a few years is they start getting softer. The flavor is still great. They're just not as crunchy, um, but they last for a long time with that sugar and vinegar in them to preserve them. Uh, I haven't had any go bad yet. So these are our favorite. Give them a try if you like a little bit of spice. They're not too hot. Um, they're, they're more of a medium. And uh, like I said, our family calls them fire and ice. They are so delicious. Give them a try. They're good on their own. They're good chopped up in tuna salad, all kinds of stuff, whatever you can think of. They're just good as a snack. So I hope that takes some of the fear out of canning pickles for you. It's super easy. It's one of the easiest things you can make. 
give it a try. Um, I get nothing for telling you that I like that Mrs. Wages seasoning. It's just what I like. And I'm trying to share with y'all little tips and tricks along the way that I actually use in my everyday life in preserving food for our family. Hope this helped you. I'll see you guys later. Check out the Bonfire campaign for t-shirts that'll only last just a short time longer. Uh, get you one of those if you want one. And subscribe if you haven't. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. Share this video. Uh, that helps us out if you don't mind. And we will see you guys on the next one. God bless.